see you. Hello, Bruce. Great to see you. This is probably one of the biggest times for people to start worrying about yeah. their money situation because, you know, maybe we went a little bit overboard. Maybe they didn't listen to your last segment before the holidays. I have no job if they listen to everything. That's true. I wouldn't so be invited back. this is a back. good thing. Yeah. Um, it can be overwhelming in terms of what your financial goals need to be for yes. the new year. How do we figure out what to focus on? We focus on the bullseye. Okay. okay. So here's the bullseye. Ready, aim, fire. Ooh. And we begin with the ready, yeah. choosing what is it because everyone circumstances are different, right? Yes. So the thing that you focus on is different from the person sitting right next to you. Mm -hmm. Here's the order of things. I call it the priority pyramid. And okay. you begin at the bottom. And the first thing is cash flow. Are you earning more than you're spending? If yeah. you are, you move up the next layer to debt. If you have $1 outstanding on your credit card, mm -hmm. that's what you need to be focused on. I think but if most you've, of us are in that most situation. Most people are in that situation. I mean, the mm -hmm. average outstanding debt of credit cards these days is around $3,500, okay. right? So there's where you need to focus. Yeah. If you've got that under control, you you move up to savings, savings for retirement, for a trip, whatever it is, a new car, whatever it is. And then you move up to tax vehicles, like an RSP or a, a TFSA. Okay. Then you move up to investment performance and optimizing returns. But at the very top of that pyramid, there's so much conversation. Your Uncle Vern probably talked to you at the holiday dinner table mm -hmm. about his big stock tips. <laughs> if your focus needs to be debt, Ignore Uncle Vern yes. and say, have more potatoes, Uncle Vern, next okay. time. So ignore all that. Choose the what is going to make the biggest difference for you. You're not including mortgage in that debt, are you? No. Because you're going to have a mortgage, you know. Probably forever. And forever. Most, most people, that's like a fix. <laughs> for, in your case, forever. <laughs> forever <laughs> and ever. But it's that that's not a discretionary item. You, you bought the house. You live in the house. You, yes. need the, you need to focus on the payment. So you can potentially still have that as a huge debt and start your savings anyways. Yeah. Okay. So you move on yes. to your savings. Um, what you say that we need to actually start developing new habits. It's all about it's habits. It's all about it's the habits. It's all about habits. And what is a habit? It is an involuntary behavior. Right. So brushing your teeth, for most of us. You got to do it. Is a, uh, a nice teeth there. You got to do nice. it. But it's a habit. And we instill it in our kids at a very early age. So yeah. how do you develop new habits? Well, Nir Eyal is this big thinker on habits. And he said it is motivation plus ability plus trigger equals okay. a habit. So let's look at that. Let's say you want to reduce the amount you spend at the food court Got and it. pack your own lunch. What's your motivation? I want to save more save for my money. kids' education, maybe. Like, that's like the reason I am doing this, because really, who wouldn't just rather eat at the food court? I'd rather eat at the food it's court. Easy. But I'm motivated. What, what's the ability? So what's the uh, skill involved in uh, making the lunch and packing the lunch, making sure the night before you cook more for dinner so that there are actually leftovers? Okay. And then the, the next piece is finding a trigger. So here's a great example. I do this with lots of different things. I put my car keys in the lunch bag. So in the morning, I'm like, where are my car keys? Oh, they're oh. in the lunch bag. I need the lunch bag because I need to pack my lunch. So there's a oh trigger my God. there. You force yourself. Yeah, you force into yourself. It. The other thing that I do with leftovers is they have prime position in the fridge. Yeah, that's It smart. is the number one place. They're a gorgeous set of Tupperware containers that I should consume. Mm -hmm. So really think about what are the habits that would make a difference for me this year. And then do you believe in that do something for 21 days or 28 days and then yeah, it's yours? Yeah, it sticks. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, there's lots of research on that. I, I hopefully it will happen earlier than that, but for some people it takes. It longer. takes a while. Yeah. Now you're saying you can outsource your triggers. You can outsource your triggers. So uh, you can automate a lot of this stuff. Yeah. You can automate savings to your RSP. You can automate uh, bill payment, which I recommend you do for items that uh, don't require a decision. So I automate water, uh, utilities, all that stuff. It just comes off my out of my bank account without without me even thinking about yeah. it. Don't do that with spending. So don't do that with things like, oh, I need spending. I need to automatically buy a pair of shoes every single month. It just comes out of my bank account and they show up in my closet. I don't know how that happened. It's amazing. amazing so don't do that. Get of, get rid of, for example, subscriptions of, for things that you don't love, except yeah. for Money Sense, which everybody loves, Obviously. of course. Yes. But sometimes we just have these things that are automated that aren't consistent with what we really want. So okay. don't automate that. All right. uh, and just to really think about how that could be helpful in terms of habits. So for some some people they don't have they they have the money and it's not so much about cutting spending. Yeah, so, so so often we talk about debt management on the show, but a lot of your viewers don't actually carry any debt. They're okay. they but they Who still are don't those have people? They, they, I know I some of those people. Of those. They're they're a unicorn yes. out there prancing <laughs> through a field of rainbows, but they do <laughs> exist. For those people, what their focus is going to be on is uh, knowledge and organization. So okay. for example, if you have kids, you need to have an RESP for those kids, mm -hmm. a registered education 
retention savings plan. For some new parents, they're like, I don't really know what that is. I don't know where to get one. I don't know how that works. So your goal might be to learn about that in 2017. Okay. You might want to get Money Sense. You want to get a copy of my book, someone's book, so you could focus on knowledge. Right. Other people, it's about organization. So you just need to actually go to the bank and set up the automatic transfer. That's the missing link. It's mm -hmm. not the food court thing. You already pack your lunch. It's the same with me and cooking. I have the knowledge to cook. Right. What I'm inconsistent on is the organization. Me too. So what's the thing? And I need to make sure I book the thing and all that stuff. That's, That's right. really my challenge when it comes to cooking. Okay. It's not the knowledge or the skill. I have those. That's not a goal for you for 2017, is, is it? Is cooking better at home? Yeah. Absolutely. You want to cook better? Oh, yeah. Good and for more you. consistently. Okay. There's, breakfast for dinner is served too often in my house. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's I amazing. It's fine. Abby loves fried eggs. There loves them. They're fantastic. Wrong with that. Yeah. yeah. Keep it easy. One thing yeah. a week, you're saying. Yeah. Like, just, just focus on yeah. little things at a time. Yeah. Don't make it this huge thing that becomes this insurmountable task. And that's the fire. The yeah. ready aim fire is choose one thing. And so often we talk about why am I not taking action? Yeah. Don't ask that question. Ask what is it going to take? Because it's going to take one of four things. Okay. Discipline, patience, creativity, or yeah. courage. And for a lot of people in 2017, <gasps> it's about courage. Okay. It could well be about courage to get outside your comfort zone and do something different. Good stuff. Good yeah. advice. Let's